Okay, now the tongue, a very, very interesting topic um, when it comes to talking about trumpet playing. There are so many different opinions of whether you should even talk about it, uh, let alone what it does. Um, but basically, uh, in my experience, we're all different. The shape of our tongue is different and the shape of our face is different, hence the shape uh, video that you would have looked at. But um, one of the major reasons I wrote the book is because for my entire life, the tip of my tongue stays behind my bottom teeth. If you go ta ya 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 the tip of your tongue is behind the bottom teeth. And then it's the flat part of the tongue about a centimeter back from the uh, tip, which I call the arch. Uh, goes against the roof of the mouth to stop the air very quickly. When I do that, the tip of the tongue is behind uh, my bottom teeth. Now, I was taught by everyone that I'd uh, sort of come across that you had to tongue with the tip of your tongue behind your top teeth. Now, I physically can't do that, so I resigned myself to the fact that I was just not meant to be a trumpet player, but I would get by the way that I was doing it. And then I stumbled across Brass Playing's No Harder Than Deep Breathing by Claude Gordon and realized that not only did he and Herbert L. Clark tongue like this, but Arben and a, a little known guy today, Alessandro Liberati. If you can find something on him, check him out. These guys are incredible players with you know quadruple octave registers. And they all tongued with the tip of their tongue staying behind their bottom teeth. Now, mine actually moves around a bit when I'm in, in different registers, but I think you'll find that if you look closely at, at what's going on, uh, the tip of the tongue uh, may not be as important as you think. It's the, the flat part of the tongue. Even if you do tongue behind the, the, the tip of the tongue behind your top teeth, you'll find that it's the flat part of the tongue behind that or the arch that actually does most of the work. And then when it comes time to taka 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 double tongue, the tip of the tongue stays behind the bottom teeth. So you might find something very interesting uh, just experimenting with that. Now some teachers will say, don't even think about the tongue, don't look at it, uh, that's fine. But in my experience, I've found a lot of benefits from, from feeling the tongue shape uh, change from low register when the jaw's low, a real ta, then ta yeah and then when you're blowing, almost you do a hiss position when you're right up in the top register. Your corners are coming in, so the, red, the, the note that speaks is gonna be a, a lot higher. Um, so it's not just the tongue, and it's not just the jaw, and it's not just the aperture, it's the whole uh, combination of things that uh, will affect pitch change. Uh, so basically, as I've said in some, some other videos, become just an observer of your own playing, become aware of what what's happening, and then you'll start to notice uh, how it will help your playing. Um, check it out. Uh, you can't do any damage by having an open mind. Okay.